Urban Dale Community Theater is here. You guys, I'm so glad you're back. It's great to have you in-house again. You've got a lot of shows lined up, and you guys, when you say community theater, you truly are building the most dynamic community, volunteer run. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true, yeah. What is, uh, what's the slate for the shows coming up? Well, um, so we have a summer show that's the big one. It's the um, uh, big Broadway musical. This next summer is going to be The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. And that's going to be a pretty big show because it involves a lot of cast. Um, oh, yeah. And of course, there's a lot of magic with that show. So yeah. the tech design is going to be kind of interesting as well. In that's fact, really cool. we're looking, for, uh, we're putting out uh, the application for director pretty soon. So um, oh. it's all, it all starts uh, pretty soon and the artistic team comes together. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't think people realize the hours that go into a show, a successful theater production. You have to rehearse, 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 rehearse. You know, it's all about refining. Um, what shows are you most excited about? You have been with the theater since the start. Correct. Um, I guess I'm looking forward to Wizard of Oz. I like some of the ones that we've done before. Yeah. You know, initially we did Fiddler on the Roof and we did it at our 10th anniversary. Um, there's a lot of old classic ones, but then there's a lot of things coming out new that it's like, you know, I have favorites, but I don't know whether we could put them on as community theater. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys, you got some sass in your shows, too. Um, something we should talk about, too, though, you've had to increase costs because of COVID. So your fundraising efforts, you need even more support, you know? True. Yeah, like everybody, um, participate. Uh, sorry, participation in terms of uh, volunteers um, and their donations and support from that has not been as robust as sure. it used to be. Yeah. So it's even more important now because w along with COVID issues, there's been increased production costs. And yeah. so um, unfortunately that just puts more strain on a budget. So that's part of the reason why we're doing our fundraiser uh, in, two, yeah, in two weeks. So, I love it. Okay, yeah. so how can people get into that? Uh, so we have a website that has a lot of the information on. The basic gist of it is, is that it's a murder mystery where people can come uh, as a character, they don't have lines or dialogue to remember just who their character is. Yeah. And then during the the event, which is at Hyperion um, Field Club in Johnston, um, there's heavy hors d'oeuvres, drinks, things like that. There's social hours. They're all in, in this kind of immortals ball where they're supernatural creatures, things like that. But basically during the night, a murder happens. And so there's um, a need for us to figure out who the murderer is, because if we don't, they will go on to continue Kills to murder. Yeah, and so it, it'll be a lot of fun. There'll be prizes for the best costume and and uh, best characters yeah. and things like that. So, um, but hopefully also it raises awareness about what we do for yes. this community and uh, generate some funds and have a good time. Before we yeah. go, yeah, your website, how can people get involved? Uh, uh, beyond this too. Okay, so if you Google Urbandale Community Theater, it'll pop up for you, but on the website, there's a tab that says events, and right there, you can read about the different characters that are involved. There's still time to sign up for that, and then uh, you just kind of register there, and, and uh, it's got all the information that you need. So. Love it. Thank you guys yeah. so much for being here. I can't wait to see how this all unfolds. A lot of personality. Yeah. <laughs>